When I first started teaching, I actually would go on there and look and read the reviews. You know, some of them were great and it was encouraging as a fairly new teacher. And then some of them were so discouraging and, you know, you can read a hundred good ones and there might be one bad one and that's the one that you're going to dwell on. I actually stopped reading them years ago. I haven't looked at Rate My Professor in probably 10 years or more. So the first one said, awesome. Dr. Wharton is one of the best professors I've ever had. She makes her expectations very, very clear at the beginning of the semester and said we would need to work to get a good grade, but is also more than willing to help you understand the material. If you have questions, just ask. Truly loves what she does, making the class more enjoyable overall. So, you know, that's what I hope students will feel at the end of class. And this person says, awful. If you have questions, she will answer them, but she teaches really fast. She doesn't tell you what she wants on the test, so you have to study a lot in order to pass the test. Even though I studied a lot, I still didn't pass any of the tests. And so I would be interested to know what this person's definition of a lot was when they say they studied a lot. Um, because reading over your notes three hours the day before the test is not a lot and that's not effective studying. So it'd be interesting to find that out. I loved Cell with Mrs. Horton. And at the time that this person wrote this, I was Mrs. Horton, not Dr. Horton. So nobody get upset about that. Um, she makes things clear, relates topics and cares about her students in and out of class. The class isn't easy, but it's worth taking um, with her over other teachers. Sorry about that. Um, you have more but smaller tests instead of big exams. Also, I felt like I understood our labs and how they related to class. I'd take her again. So that always makes me happy when somebody says they would take my class again. I'm not a big fan of biology, but Miss Horton has a passion for it, which makes me interested. This class was not easy in any sense of the word. However, you get what you put into it, which is very true. So I'm glad they put that in. This is one of those classes that you have to work for, in all caps. If you plan on taking this course, you should already know that. I would recommend Mrs. Horton, but only if you are willing to put in the work. So I think that's a fair, that's what I would want students to know going in, that you're gonna have to work for it, but hopefully it'll be worth your time at the end. I wouldn't recommend Mrs. Horton. She doesn't teach very well. I had a hard time understanding her and I have a good biology background. I don't know if she means like physically understanding what I was saying or if the student means um, didn't understand the concepts that I was trying to teach. I'm not sure. The test material doesn't necessarily come from the lecture and if it came from the book it was hard to find. I didn't receive a score above a 70 on any test and I've never made below an A leans heavily on the book and the website, uses a PowerPoint lecture but does not give notes, does not take attendance. No matter what question I asked about the test, it seemed I always got the same boring, unhelpful answer. She is nice, but I do not recommend taking her. I'll post my slides, but my slides are mainly figures, and then during class I talk about and explain them, but my PowerPoint slides are not full of words. So even though I post them, they don't substitute for students taking their own notes, which is sometimes what students want. They want to just be able to download the PowerPoints and have everything right there that they need to know. This is a class for biology majors, Bio 1, and I wasn't one. It was one of the hardest classes I've taken, but Miss Horton was by far the best professor I could have had. Aww. She is very difficult, but she's so willing to help that you can do well in this class if you try and read. This cracks me up. All right, she means well. She really tries to get everyone to understand. She just doesn't do it very well. She'll speed through things and has absolutely no idea about chemistry. She quizzed us on chemistry and half of her answers were wrong or incomprehensible. She's just not a very good teacher, but she tries. Tests are hard, chapter summaries. This is one of the times when Reading the review, I pretty much knew who the student was, which doesn't happen very often, but occasionally. Um, and, you know, he was not a happy camper. So, do I know about chemistry? Yeah, 
I have a bachelor's degree in chemistry and a master's degree in biochemistry, and I do know some things about chemistry. Um, so that was one of those that I just had to laugh and go on. One of the things that this person says in the beginning could probably be the best thing a student could ever say about me. She is very helpful. She doesn't lecture, she teaches. And that is what I try to do, right? I mean, I want students to learn the information and I want them to appreciate it and be passionate about it, um, but I don't want it to be boring for them. Um, she talks about the subject for a minute and then asks if we have any questions and then answers your questions and really makes you understand it more, even if you weren't the one to ask. She always holds study groups before a test to make sure we have everything down that we need to. I give her an A+. I did appreciate the fact that this person said she doesn't like sure she teaches. I mean, I think that's what all of us really aspire for our students to think is that we care about them, we want them to learn, um, and we're not just up there, you know, spitting out boring information. So that makes me happy. One of the main reasons I stopped looking at them is because I kind of felt like there were two populations of students typically who would go on and leave um, evaluations on Rate My Professor. The ones who really disliked me or the ones who really liked me. And, you know, the polar extremes, I'm not going to get necessarily a whole lot of information about what I can do to improve as a teacher. Um, you know, I may learn some things that I should continue doing, although, just as we saw from reading through these, one person can say, I love that she does that, and the next person can say, I hate that she does that. So, um, you know, you just kind of have to take it with a grain of salt and, um, and go forward and just hopefully pick out the nuggets that can help me as a professional um, as much as possible.